So you've just received your Roller IQ motor. This is the motor that uses the Matter over thread protocol. I'm gonna show you in this video how to install it, how to set the limits, and then how we easily connect it into your smart home. So when we're installing the blind, the first thing we wanna do is always cover the end so we don't wanna tip it because the motor is just gonna go sliding out. So we're gonna install the blind with this flat section at the bottom here, facing straight down at six o'clock. So I'm gonna put that in the bracket and then click the pin in. So now the blind is fully installed. Now at I see blinds, we've already done the hard work for you because all you have to do is just pull that chain, but it's very gently. What we've done is we've set it, the limit down about halfway. So we're just gonna get it going in the right direction. And what you need to do now is just set the limits. So the way we do that is you'll see a little black button up under the motor. So we push the button and we just pull the chain we saw the roller blind motor just jog. Now I've got manual control of the blind. So it's going in the up direction. I want it to go down. So I'm just going to pull it again. And it's very important that we set the down limit first. That way your smart home knows uh, what is open and what is closed. So we're setting the down limit first. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to give the quick push on the black button. The blind jogs. Now I'm going to pull the chain again to set the up limit. Now the length of that chain is adjustable um, and it's always gonna give you manual control of the blind. So if some person's not connected into your smart home, I'm gonna stop it just there. If I give it a quick push uh, up or down, it'll just jog for me. If a person's not connected into your smart home, then they can just always use that chain just for manual control of the blind. So if I'm happy with that as a limit, I'm just gonna push that black button there, just a quick push the blind jogs and now if I just pull the chain and walk away, the blind is now gonna go straight to its bottom limit. So it couldn't be any easier. So now I'm gonna open my Apple HomeKit app. I hit the plus button on the top there. I hit add accessory. Now I've gotta wake the chip up so I give it a quick push to the chip and we're getting those uh, flashing green lights. Now I'm just gonna scan it and I'm gonna go add to home and then it will connect and set up for me. So Apple want to know what room this um, roller IQ motor is, is in. So they have a number of sort of preset rooms there, or we can uh, scroll it in and create a new room. But let's just say this one is in the kitchen. I'll hit the continue button. Now it's asking for the blind name. So we're going to close that one there out and we're going to call it the kitchen roller. Uh, continue. And now it's going to bring it into our uh, home home kit. It's asking us to do some blind automations now. So we're going to go continue and it says Broad Meadows or blind added to Broad Meadows, which is this site here or this home here. And so I'm going to hit done. So essentially now you can see the roller blind is in my um, home. I can push the button and you can see the blind moving. I can stop it. I can push the button there. Everything happens immediately. And furthermore, I could even ask Siri so I can go close kitchen roller blind and you can see the roller blind is closing okay now if I want to add automations to this blind I'll just hit that plus button there add automations and I've got a list here when people arrive when people leave at a time of day which is my favorite because that takes me to a sunrise and a sunset timer or a specific time of day if it's a west facing window and you want the blinds to go down at two o'clock in the afternoon you can do that and then you can choose what days of the week you want to activate that uh, sunrise and sunset timer. So you've got great flexibility. And a lot of the smart home systems are very similar to this. We're just using Apple today. So when that's all done, we'll just hit the next and confirm. Uh, we can go back home, but that's as simple as we've been able to add this Roller IQ motor into Apple HomeKit today.